Right, okay, so in today's video, we're going to be covering the, the origins of the Cold War. So what I would like you to do is if you've got your books, can you jot it down in your books, please? Or if you've got an A3 piece of paper, you can do it on that, but you just need to copy exactly everything that I am putting down on the board. So the first thing we're going to start off with is defining what a Cold War actually is. So what I'd like you to do is just to copy down piece, Cold War and Hot War. Now if there's any point in this video that I'm going too fast, all you need to do is just pause the video, copy it down and then keep playing the video again. So first off then, peace. Peace is when there is no actual fighting or tensions between countries. A hot war is when there is actual fighting ongoing between countries. Now a cold war is sits perfectly between the two. So a cold war actually is when there are threats and tensions between countries but no actual fighting is taking place. Okay, so it's important that you distinguish the difference between the three, peace, cold war, and a hot war. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through a quick background of the very origins of the cold war. So how the cold war actually began, what happened just before the cold war started. So we're gonna start off by writing background in a bubble. Okay, and the first thing we're going to talk about is the creation of the Grand Alliance. Okay, now the Grand Alliance is a key term that you need to make sure that you get into your heads. Now, the Grand Alliance was made up of three different members. We have Great Britain, the Soviet Union, and the US. Now, the Grand Alliance was set up to try and shape the new world because they realised that Nazi Germany was actually on the verge of collapse. It was near the end of World War II. These three countries realised that Nazi Germany was about to lose and they had to understand how the new world would look like. So they basically came together to shape the new world. Now, historians call this a marriage of convenience. Now, that means that the only reason they set up was because it was convenient, because these countries actually had two complete different ideologies. We'll talk about in another video about communism and capitalism, but they are completely opposing ideologies. So the only reason why the Grand Alliance was set up was to make sure that they could get their heads together to try and shape the new world. Now, this marriage of convenience was set up because they had a common enemy, a common purpose, which was to defeat Nazi Germany. Okay. Now, these three leaders met up three different occasions. These were called the conferences. Okay. Now, the first one was the Terran Conference, which was in 1943. We have the Yalta Conference, which was in 
1945 and later that year we have Potsdam which was also 1945 okay so that is basically the background of the beginning of the Cold War so we're going to go through the three different conferences so what I'd like to do now is just write down the first one which is the Temen conference okay, which was 1943 so two years before World War II ended now this is all just agreements this isn't actually what happened this is what they agreed at the Terran conference so first point is that the USA and Great Britain decided to open a second front okay this was the aim of finishing off Nazi Germany Okay, so they agreed to open a second front. Now, the Soviet Union agreed to help USA defeat Japan, who was currently, Japan and uh, USA were currently at each other's throats. So the Soviet Union agreed that they would help USA defeat Japan so that USA could leave Second World War II as well. Now, they also talked about Poland's boundaries. Okay, they agreed that Poland's boundaries would move westwards. Okay, so that the west would have more influence over Poland. Now, there was an international body. So an international body to be set up so that uh, instead of actually going to war with each other, they would settle their disagreements by talking instead. So an international body to be set up to settle disputes. Now this was actually what turned into United Nations later on. Okay, so if you need to pause the video and copy that down, do so. Once you've done that, I would like you to now put at the top of the board, so the top of your page, I mean, I would like you to put 